80 years have passed since Dr. Seuss produced what he called his collection of unorthodox taxidermy, an amazing collection of Seussian animals often constructed from real animal beaks, antlers, horns, lion's teeth, rabbit ears, and turtle shells. Well, this exhibit is now on display at Sid and Tell Gallery in Safety Harbor. And joining me this morning is Susan Benjamin with the details. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I love this. So we just celebrated Dr. Seuss' birthday. I think there's uh, always people have always loved Dr. Seuss, but even particular now, I think there's extra special attention and eagerness to learn more about him. What a way to do that through this exhibit. Kind of give us a, a look at this exhibit. Well, this is an exhibit of mostly his taxidermy pieces, which is this one here. First time that they've ever traveled. There are 17 of these in the gallery. And are they not the cutest thing? They are I mean, cute. Well, when you hear taxidermy and you think fur and you think it's a real animal that was stuffed or whatever, but kind of give us a glimpse. What is exactly? Okay, well, the, the story is, is his father worked in the Parks Department and he worked at the zoo in Springfield, Mass. And Ted Geisel, who was Dr. Seuss, lived in New York at the time. And he would send him through the mail horns of animals that, you know, maybe died okay. or shedded or we things like that. We won't get into how he got them, but he has them and, now. And uh, he'd send it to him, and, uh, you know, what, what a cool dad, I mean, thinking <laughs> that he would like something like that. And then he made these creations out of, what you know, paper mache and, and everything. And But look at the eyes. I mean, they were so Seussian, you know, yeah. looking. And he would create names for them, and they were just a fun fun thing for him to And do, I don't so. think, uh, you know, maybe it's a misconception. I don't think people really realize Dr. Seuss was first and foremost an artist. I mean, he wrote kids books, but he really did love art, which kind of brings us to the pieces behind us where right. this is what he was doing in his spare time. He was, you know, he, he, would, he was, you know, he was in advertising mm -hmm. and he did a lot of things for advertising. He did the first funny ad um, that there ever was. And then he would paint. He would come home at night and he would paint. And then when he became famous with the cat in the hat mm -hmm. and green eggs and ham, which I know everyone knows. Yes. Um, uh, he would, you know, that's when he became really, really famous. But and he really did the illustrations for him. He did. And we, I was pointing out to you earlier, if mm -hmm. you look there, this is a sketch of this piece right here. And if you look at the little coffee right stains here. there, that's that his, his coffee, his coffee, coffee mugs. There, so. Wow. And then this piece right here, which doesn't necessarily look like it came from his book over on the other side, but this is artwork that he did. And I love, this is actually a window screen in front of this. Yes, he actually framed it in a, took a window and framed it in a window. And this is, you know, view from a window on a uh, beach vacation, you know, the lady's umbrella and her belly button there. With this uh, exhibit, though, people can buy some of this, right? It's kind of limited edition. Explain kind of what you can, what's available, what people can see and buy. Well, out of the taxidermy, there are three pieces that are completely sold out that you cannot get. These okay. are in limited editions, but the rest of them are available. Um, his uh, illustrative pieces are all of it, you know, what's left are available mm -hmm. and, um, you know, are reasonably priced. Mm -hmm. and and then his paintings, his secret paintings are there too. There's probably about 15 of his secret paintings. That but I wanted there, to so. mention too, what I love is his wife is still alive and uh, she, she has a big hand. And uh, this is a really kind of very special for the Bay Area that you guys get this uh, exhibit. This just isn't everywhere. No, the only certain galleries are uh, allowed to carry the collection. And Audrey Geisel's his wife. She's in her, we don't know, we're not supposed to tell a lady's yeah, age, right? but I think she's in her mid-90s. And she approves everything that is published through mm -hmm. um, the Dr. Seuss collection. So it's very, very carefully done. And Dr. Seuss always wanted to sell art. That was yeah. his thing, but he, he became his so famous in the books. books were more, so. more popular, but that's all right. Well, again, there are the details to go see the exhibit. Only two weeks, so people need to, to get there uh, fast and as soon as they can. Thank you so much. What an You're honor welcome. to have some of this stuff in our studio this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right, we'll send it over to Natalie.